Hey guys, so if you've seen me do these kind of videos before, then you know that I skip over certain products and just focus on showing you what I haven't shown you before. So I already have on lip treatment, face primer, foundation, concealer, powder, I did my brows, and then we're just going to go from there. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Hard Candy Face Off Blush. I finally got around to picking one of these up and um, this is a luminous blush. It says it's hydrating, brightening, and buildable. So I got born yesterday. So today I have on a black, gray, and white shirt, very neutral because um, of what I'm going to do on my eyes. So I thought this look was going to need some pops of color. So I'm going to use this. It has a wand, so that's a bit different. So we're just going to do three little dots because I have not used this before, so I don't know just how pigmented it is. And I'm going to use this blush blush brush from Essence. Okay, it seems to be blending nicely and that is giving me exactly the pop of color that I was looking for. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, let's stick with that. That seems to be working the three dot method. Yep, it's blending good. Boy, everybody is doing cream and liquid blushes because I think that once one company, I'm just going to blend this a little bit more, once one company has a hit with something like that, all the companies jump on the wagon and say, I want a piece of that. You know what? I think I'm going to do just a tiny bit more because I think... I think I, I try to make it, you know, as even as possible. Plus, we want to see how it builds, too. Yeah, that builds fine. Okay. All right, that looks more even now. And I don't know if I've used this in a video before. Uh, this is the Lottie London Illuminating the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Frosted. And it's just a, a white, silvery white. So let's grab this highlighter brush. And we're going to go right across the top of my cheekbones. Now, because I have used this before, the sparkle is gone from the center of this. You won't be able to see that, I don't think. But I'm dipping my brush in the part where the sparkles are gone. Because it's really intense. If you go into the sparkly part. But I think the product underneath is just as pretty. But less sparkly. Okay, next I'm going to prime my eyes off camera and be right back. Okay, and I do want to say that the Profusion Pigment Base Eyeshadow Primer is still my favorite eyeshadow primer. Um, sometimes I get like almost a sixth sense about makeup, and when I bought this, something told me to buy more than one and um, so I do have a backup of this just in case because one of you had told me that you saw it on clearance at your Walmart um, so I don't know that that can mean a lot of different things depending on the store but I originally bought this because I was buying a lot of pigments at the time and but it works good for any eyeshadow really 
All right, so the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today is one of the Hard Candy Moods palettes, and this is the one in Moon, which is black, silver, gray, and white. And this color story, I feel, looks really good with my eye color and my skin color because my eyes are like a greenish blue. Um, they're not blue, they're not green, they're like somewhere in between, but they're very, very light in color. And I feel like this color story just is always very complimentary for me. So I'm going to start with a small crease brush. And I'm going to go into the gray. Yeah, these little hard candy quads, I've had such good luck with these that I really wouldn't mind having all of them. I sort of focus on, like when I want to pick up another one, you know, I just gravitate towards the ones that have the color stories that I'm most fond of, but really, really like these. I, you know, they're, they're very inexpensive and, um, they just perform so nicely. And I'm just going to do one eye at a time. You know, I have to tell you, I was really tempted to do a third look today with those Lottie London palettes because I really enjoy those too. But I figured three videos for one topic would probably be too much for most people because I looked at the numbers for the first video, then I looked at the numbers, the number for the second video, and I saw a big drop off. So I was like, yeah, I better not push it and do a third video. But I, when I like something, I really, really like it. I tend to get almost obsessed with it. So, um, yeah. I really wanted to do a third video. All right, pale gray in the crease, and then let's switch to a shader brush and go into that silver. I don't feel like grays, silvers, whites, blacks are that popular of an eyeshadow color scheme because the majority of the world has brown eyes. So if you have brown or hazel eyes, it's not going to be your best color story. So I get that. I understand that. But I like to go with what works for me. But I do like to go outside my comfort zone sometimes and just do something different, but a lot of times when I do that, the end result is not good. Does anybody remember my Uoma Beauty video that I did? That eyeshadow palette was very like orangey and oh my god, that looked so bad. I thought it looked so bad on me. But it's fun to try some different things. Okay, so I'm going to grab something with a small head on the brush because I want to go into that white shade and do my brow bone and inner corner. All right, I'm going to go back to my shader brush and just pick up a little more of that silver and continue to fill in like any areas that don't look like they're completely filled in. All right, now I'm going to grab this 
um, what would this be considered? A domed brush. And I'm just going to very lightly, because I don't know how pigmented this is, just going to tap, tap the black a couple times. And just go on the outer part of my eye here. Just to kind of, you know, give it some dimension here. I don't want this to be like too smoky of an eye. Because I think the silver is really pretty, so. All right, now I'm going to go into this hard candy long wear eyeliner and they don't write the names on the pencils, but I'm pretty sure this is called Jet Black. Pretty sure. Everything that I'm using will be listed in the description box. I'm going to do my waterline. But, you know, having said everything that I just said about color stories, I have been, like, with the purchases that I haven't shown you yet that I've made recently, I've been drawn to colors that I don't think I've ever bought before. So there's going to be some uh, definitely different color stories coming up in the near future. And you've seen me use my Lottie London Super Fake Mascara in the last couple of videos, so I'm going to skip over that part. Okay, so I finished up my eyes, and now we can move on to the lips. So I'm going to line my lips with the Hard Candy Insta Pout Lip Liner in Summer Fling. Now I have shown this in a video before, but rather than skip over it, and then just come back with just lip liner on. I'm going to actually use it. So I'm just going to line. And I picked this shade to match the blush. I have a whole video about these if you haven't seen it. These are an excellent lip liner. I hope they add more colors at some point. Because it's just the basics, really. All right, now I'm going to fill in with a hard candy. Oh, shoot, the name just went right out of my head. Lip Melt, Hard Candy Lip Melt. Um, I know I've shown these in videos before, but not this shade. This shade is called At First Sight. I was only missing two shades, so I went out and bought the two shades that I was missing. I've done videos on these before, too. So when you twist this, only twist it up a little bit because you can't twist it back down. And this is a tinted lip balm, but this is like that fuchsia shade. These are so pretty, though. They're like, you know, luminous. Hydrating. But dear hard candy, please start writing more information because all it says is hard candy. And on the end, it says at first sight. 
it doesn't have the actual name of the product anywhere on there. Lip melt. So that is the completed look. And um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.